We're on them, boys. These tungsten spoons, guys. Oh, frick yeah. My. <laughs> oh my god, guys. What is crack a lacking, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Martial Outdoors. Today, we're out in the outdoors, as always, just doing outdoor things. That is what we do here on this channel. I am currently going to go fishing for the last time of the season, guys. This is my last open water trip of the season. It's 24 degrees out right now. Boat's absolutely frozen, as you can't tell. The whole thing is ice down here. Yeah, I went duck hunting this morning. It was an absolute banger. Didn't film. I'll try and catch some more of those videos later on while I uh, get into it real serious here in the next couple weeks. But for now, we're gonna go out and do a little fishing. I mean, 24 degrees, guys. There's ice on small lakes. Small ponds are frozen over. I'm surprised there's not ice on this, but that's all right. Hey, we're here to do one thing. That's catch some big fall crappies because I wanna eat some more crappies tonight. I know, I'm gonna go out there, have some fun, play around for a couple hours, and uh, just enjoy this last decent day. Well, it's decent, it's 24 degrees, but there's no wind. Perfect time for crappies. We're gonna get out there, do some slants. It's gonna be a little bit different. We're maybe, maybe dangling the ice fishing rod community a little bit, because that's what I wanna do, get the ice fishing rod in the hand. And I guarantee in two weeks, two and a half weeks, we will be on ice here in central Minnesota. The weather that's coming looks absolutely insane for this time of year. We will uh, be on ice, I can guarantee you that, real soon. So stay tuned, guys. The videos will be flying this winter. But for now, I'm going to load up my gear because it's 24 degrees. My hands are numb holding this camera. Let's uh, let's uh, get on the water and go catch some of these big old fall crappies because I know they're out there just waiting for me to catch them. So stay tuned. We will see you guys out there. All right, we just got out to the, you could call it the hunting grounds, if you may. And uh, first things first, if you're fishing fall crappies, it's not like you just go out to a spot like it's springtime and you just hammer, hammer, hammer on that spot. No, that's not how you do that. You gotta rely on your electronics and uh, you'll find them. Oh my gosh. Okay, we're on them already. So, first things first, let's, uh, let's take this big ass jacket off. I'm gonna do a little uh, little new product too today. Look at these tungsten spoons, guys. First tungsten spoons on the market right now. Look at these things. Whew. Feather hook, oh, dynamite. These things are gonna be absolutely, absolutely killer when it comes into the when it comes down to the old winter time. We're gonna pop this sucker on this perch colored one because that really fires me right on up, the perch do. Let's rig that up on a tuned up custom commander. Yeah, a little heavy, but I just want to get my ice fishing rod in my hand. So, I guess uh, first things first, we're on them boys. Not much ice. Get the holes punched. Keep your holes clean. Let's drop this feathered treble hook down there. Look at this thing. Whew. Oh, almost forgot. Next thing first. Get the mark them out. Throw the deucer in. Oh yeah, I think so. So let's uh set up and catch some of these fish. Troll motor's frozen. She ain't gonna. She ain't gonna stay down. It's not good. No, it's not looking good. So, let's get back on these guys and pound some big old slabs. Oh yeah, we got the flasher. We got the mark them. Just looking to really mark them. Hoping we can mark them. Mark it and mark it. Oh yeah, fish down there. Fish down there, boys. Drop it down. Oh, this is gonna work. Oh, this is gonna work. Oh, this is sick. Oh yeah. 
Oh, yeah. Oh, we're in them. Stop it right above them. Oh, my gosh. Here they all come. We're on. We're on. We are on, boys. Hooked up on the ice fishing rod. First time of the 2019 season. We got a drag screamer here. We're marking them on the Markham and on the Hummingbird at the same time. Oh, we got them wrapped in the deucer. Wrapped in the, oh, God. Just a horse. Just, just a freaking pie. Look at that thing, big old, big old crap. He got that tungsten spoon right in the roof of his mouth. That is what I came out here for, to get on a little ice fishing rod action. And, uh, numero uno. Numero uno. He liked the old, uh, he liked the old tungsten, tungsten spoon. And I liked it. Um, pounded it. He freaking pounded that tungsten spoon right there, guys. Oh, look at the rod bed. Look at the rod bed. Oh my gosh. Can you say they like the tungsten spoon? Just another dandy, absolutely choked. Like, holy, holy buckets. There we go, another dandy crappie. Do not keep these crappies, like I said in a couple videos before. 45 feet of water, just get your get the ones you want and get out of there. It's not worth, uh, not worth killing them. So we're gonna get back down there and see if we can get a couple Get a couple more. Goldie. Goldie, but a goldie. My hands are a num 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 num. Oh, does it feel good though to get the ice fishing rod, man? Get the mark them out. Just really mark them on the mark them. Because I like that. I am so ready for ice fishing and so done with being in this boat for fishing. But, keep at it. Oh, this one wants it. Oh my gosh, tanker. Tanker of a mark, dude. Oh, freaking horse. Freaking giant, dude. Giant crop right here. Oh my gosh. Oh man, just, oh my. Oh, Jay. oh my gosh, it's actually really, really big. It's really, really, really big, boys. Whew, I love me some crappies, and I love it even more on a freaking ice fish. Uh, oh, yeah, let's get down there. Let's get down there. Let's get down there. Let's get down there. They're still there. Oh, yeah, just drop the jig right into them. Come on, come on, get down there. Tungsten jig, you gotta love it, man. 45 feet of water, takes me no time to get her down there. I'm already in the zone. Just a jigging. Now come on. Oh, dude, it's Christmas tree in down there. You don't know how happy it makes me to see a giant school of freaking crappies on my Markham. I cannot wait until it's just Christmas trees after Christmas trees after Christmas trees. This is really firing me up. Oh. Oh my gosh, he pounded it. Oh my. Just another absolute horse, guys. Oh, I'm having way too much fun. Just got that, just got that 36 inch commander. Just tacoed. Another. Freaking absolute slob donkeys of some freaking crappies out here. Look at the size of these freaking crappies. Oh my gosh, I would let them go, but not today. That is freaking outrageous. Woo! On the ice fishing rod, came out. You need to know your spot. Came out the auger, bored a hole. Let me tell you. Spot's been hot ever since I drilled that first hole. And, uh, oh my gosh. Just 
just like in the winter. Give the transducer a swing. Boom. She just lets you know right where they're at. I just swung it underneath the boat. And uh, yeah, they're absolutely loaded. So let's freaking get down there and let's catch another freaking crab. Oh, it's just, it's freaking Christmas tree. Got him. Oh, we got some tugging. Do we got some tugging? Oh my gosh, they're so loaded right now. Oh yeah, you betcha. Not the biggest crappie in the lake, but hey, I'd rather get the small ones to tell you the truth. And uh, let's fire it right back down there to see if we can get another one. That makes number five for me. Oh, come on. Get it down there, get it down there. Get it down there. Oh my gosh, we got some absolute racers. They want it, boys. I told you, they freaking want it. I freaking told you. This one seems uh, really small. But, oh, never mind. It seems like he's got some fight in him. Ah, he's got some tug in him. Oh, make it number uh, six, sir. Make it number six or that freaking tungsten spoon, guys. I'm talking, this thing's dynamite. Dynamite spoon, man. Begging. Freaking begging right here. Oh my, oh, 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 I'm slipping on the ice. Let's get over and bass them, this giant. Guys, if you haven't tried the ice fishing rod in the summertime in the boat, oh yes, another good one. Another freaking good one right there. <sighs> it's hooked a little funny, that's why it felt bigger. But hey, I ain't complaining. That makes number seven. All right, talk a little more about this beautiful spoon here. See this thing? Look at that beautiful it's got awesome treble hooks on it good quality strong treble hooks and uh comes with that feather like i said and they do come in a bigger size the small one here that i'm using is a quarter ounce but look at this one look at that dandy five eighths right there that's going to be for big wild eyes i mean i guarantee if i drop this five eighths down there they'd bite it I almost guarantee you that or they we're going to stick with the quarter ounce because that's what i love and it uh, gets down there incredibly fast, guys. There will be a lot more companies next year that do the tongues and spoons. He pretty much uh, paved the way for everybody. And I guaranteed you'll see more of these. But hopefully not. Hopefully he's the only cool guy that does it. Because right now he's, he's, got, her. he's got her dialed. So. Oh, he just bumped it. He bumped it. He likes the feather. He's going to come back and hit it. He's like, I need a piece of that feather in my mouth right now. Oh my gosh, he's coming in so hot. Oh, you got to be kidding me right now. This is unreal. on freaking real guys. We are on a hot, and I mean a hot, school of crappies right now. Put them in the bag, guys. Just put them in the freaking bag right there. Good 10, 11 inches. A couple of the first ones were a little big for my liking. This is what's awesome about having this in the boat. Okay, so I'm barely marking fish on this. Not marking anything on my hummingbird at all. I'm gonna grab this. I'm gonna swing it. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Well, there they are, right over here. Just sitting right over here. Yep, 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 Deploy. Deploy the tungsten spoon. Deploying the tungsten. Dude, this spoon's 45 feet, and it's just like, shoop. 
like a freaking rocket man. Very, very impressed. And like I said, I got absolutely no bait on this thing. I mean, yeah, it might do good too. You don't even need it with the feather treble hook. Literally, you just don't need it. I'm just gonna catch another one. God, guys, like on the ice rod, look at this freaking absolute tank. Got that spoon just locked up in his mouth. That is what fall crappy fishing is all about. I feel bad keeping this big girl, but this deep water, she's gonna go in the frying pan. And uh, yeah, yeah, you know what it is. It's number nine, you only catch one more. Might as well just go ahead and do that real quick. Oh, frick yeah. This is number 10, the 10th and final crappy of the day. They're absolutely just stacked, but I, I got I, I got my 10. You cannot catch and release these guys. So I am uh, done, done on a slab. Done on another absolute Slavosaurus, guys. On the ice fishing rod, that's what we do here. And uh, yeah, make sure you bring your auger, bring your electronics, do the homework, and you'll find yourself big schools of crappies. And just like this. Pretty awesome freaking day. I'm probably gonna go deer hunting. Maybe make this day even better. So you guys stay tuned. I don't know what I'll be doing next probably fishing big crappies on ice so make sure you guys stay tuned for that make sure you hit that like button smash that subscribe button just smash it for me guys i am trying to do these videos just for you guys and uh it's been fun make it an ice season to remember and make sure you guys go check out your tackle you're gonna want some of these spoons for this upcoming ice season they are dynamite so let's get out of here and go get in the deer stand hopefully you guys enjoyed we We'll see you next time.